Hey guys, Joe here. This video is something of a follow-up to my shield and stone video. That'll be linked in the description if you haven't seen it. There were a couple comments on that video asking why I wasn't wearing any kind of face shield or face protection. And there were a couple reasons for that. One was I thought that I had a big enough shield that I was easily going to protect myself because that shield had a 27 inch diameter. Second thing was I had considered having some kind of wired mask or getting a helmet that had a face shield on it and wearing that. But when I was throwing stones up into the air and following and tracking, some of them were only like this big. I didn't want my vision impaired or blocked in any way. So that's why I ultimately decided no face shield. Whether that was wise or not, that was the reasoning behind it. But one of the comments on that, someone mentioned a fencing mask, which I hadn't even thought of that when I was considering some kind of face shield. But I do have a fencing mask. This I got, it's actually way too small for me, but uh, it's one I got from a guy who had some excess equipment and he was just dumping off and I thought, I'll grab it, maybe I can use it for something. But I did find a guy, not me, but who also has an absolutely bald head and has agreed to wear this and get smashed in the face with a stone for science. This is that gentleman. Let's put him up in front of a target, put the mask on him, and see what a stone will do. Let's go. Okay, just a couple more things and we'll jump into this real quick. See the setup up there? I basically put that head about as dead center on that board as I could. Uh, throwing distance is going to be approximately 13 meters. One thing I want to note before I start throwing stones at this is because this was used, there is a little bit of damage on it. Right in the, kind of the, I guess that'd be kind of right between the eyes. There's two small dents there. And there's also one on the side here. I guess someone took a couple shots in the face when they were fencing. But uh, I just want to note those on camera. So in case I do get any hits on this, we'll be able to distinguish between that existing damage and anything that the stone might do. Okay, first stone's going to be 191 grams. Um... In the shield and stone video, the heaviest stone I used, I believe, was 499 grams. So at no point am I going to go higher than that. Everything will be less than that. For the most part, probably quite a bit less. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention also. If a stone were to hit even wearing a mask somewhere in the head, obviously the neck's going to be able to move. Even when I was facing straight up, my neck would have had some give on a hit. So the way that's set up, it's just a stick down in the dirt. So it will be able to be pushed back. It's just a styrofoam head on a wooden dowel. So it'll be able to twist and turn and move. While this isn't gonna be exactly how a head and neck would react, having that ability to move, I wanted to be there rather than just a fixed position. Let's go. Two thirty eight. Oh. 
237. I almost lost this right in front of the thing. I didn't, I didn't have time or I'd have painted them orange. Uh, just a little nick at the bottom. I can't see any difference to that mask, so no damage there. Dropping back a bit, 164. I'm pretty much just grabbing anything. This video is not about board breaking, but I'll show you guys this one. My shadow is a better shot of it. And... Uh, look at that. It was cheap, so I bought this particle junk but I'm busting through it quick Went through again. This stuff's junk. I got three holes in it already. Note to self, always buy plywood. That one didn't come out clean. That hit looked pretty good. A little bit to the side, obviously, because it turned it. But let's go take a look. Oh my, 
I'm not sure how well the oh as long as I'm blocking the sun it picks it up pretty good look at that that left a monster dent here let me take the here we'll go around back here out of the sun Look how much that caved that in. Well, I can say this. I definitely wouldn't want to be hit with a stone that size wearing a face fencing mask for protection. Here's something else, guys. This head, maybe I'll take it in the shade there as well. And I'm gonna show you guys this too. You can see the big, all the indentation on the forehead where that mask hit. And he also took a, right down on the chin So, fencing mask took a, I forget what that stone was, 293 grams, I think. Took one of those in the face with a fencing mask on. You would not be, you would not be a happy camper. Okay, guys, I just want to mention real quick, I'm not a fencer, so that mask I was using I don't know if it's of really good quality or if it's kind of like a poor quality. Just from the the metal, some spots are a little bit rusty. So I'm guessing that fencing mask is a bit of an older one. So newer ones might be more resilient to an impact like that. I have no idea. Um, I will say though that that caved in from that stone a lot more than I was expecting it would. Just from the roundness of it, I thought it would be a little more resilient and more of a glancing hit. But uh, that caved that in pretty well, left some good marks on that uh, that styrofoam head. So that was a good hit and also kind of scary in what damage that might have caused if that were to hit you in the face. Cheers. Hey guys, just one more quick follow up here. One thing I didn't do, or rather forgot to do in the original recording was show the inside of this, of this big dent. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. It's real hard to pick up on the video. I mean, you can see it there, but it's just real hard to, real hard to make sense of how big that is just on the camera because I had tried a couple times. But one other thing I wanted to show here is how how hard this this metal webbing or whatever it's called actually is. See like if I press down with my thumbs, I can't move it at all. That's how hard this is. Like this dent, I would never be able to to push this back out with my bare hands it just wouldn't happen but that's real real tough stuff